USC fans in attendance, give it up for Johnny Big Rip Hendricks! Yeah! There we go. All right, any other questions? I like doing Q&A. You know, you guys see us hit this all the time. Y'all see us do these kind of things. But you never get to interact with us, so I'd much rather talk to you guys personally. But that's okay with you guys. So who has a question? You gamble when you're in Vegas ever? Before, before yeah, I gamble. I gamble. I'm 300 down. <laughs> <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> you know, I, I don't like to dig myself too big of a hole. Uh, but yeah, I do gamble a little bit. I like blackjack. <laughs> uh, is that again? Get it back on the weekend. There you go. Get it back this weekend. That's the plan. But, you know, I don't want anything negative on my mind. So I do a little bit. Saturday night, I'll do a little bit more. I'll have more fun. But as of right now, no. I'm just... Uh, yeah, I did uh, uh, a couple guys... Uh, one of them has been my training partner for four what, years, four and a half years. He's a uh, he's a uh, what is he a kickboxer slash Muay Thai guy, but he can mimic a lot of different uh, people. And he's been my main training partner for probably most of my uh, my fights, right? And so he can throw those crazy kicks, he can do spinning back kicks, he can lunge in like Tops wants to. So I got a good feel. The only thing is, he's uh, 5'11", right? He's not 6' or 6'1", I think Thompson is. But it still gives me a good understanding of where the kicks can come from and how he needs to set them up to land the kicks. What sort of diet do you have before Michelle? What sort of what's, what's your diet like before? Uh, my diet, this diet has been totally different. As you can tell, I hit 169.8 this morning. Uh, right now, 172. Uh, so I only got a pound to lose before tomorrow. Um, I ate breakfast this morning. I drank. Uh, I've drank two pounds so far. So I'm staying hydrated. You know, uh, and so what we're doing is we're eating oatmeal in the morning with some whey protein that's made from nutrition. Uh, then we also do uh, like meal, we do a crust bar for snacks. Then we do another meal which is going to be chicken with some protein and some fat. And then we also do another snack. And then we do another meal of chicken or fish or whatever it might be, protein, fat, and uh, carbs. <clears throat> and then at night, I do eggs before bed. So I'm eating a lot of meals. Like yesterday, I drank eight pounds, and I ate six or seven meals. And I actually woke up this morning at 171.6. So it is falling off. My keys to victory is uh, uh, the keys to victory. I would say, depending on his range. Whenever we get in there, I'll be able to find figure out his range very quickly, right? So I, I either got to play inside that range with him, or just play outside where he has to try to come forward at me. All right, so you you really got to sit there and play with those because he, he's a little bit taller than I've been experienced. For example, the first time I fought uh, Condon, I was playing a little closer range than I should have. He he threw a kick and I thought I was out of weight and I had to block it at the last minute. Right. Well, this one I'm gonna start off a little bit further out and until I find the range, then I can start jumping in and out and and, and, and having success that way. GSP uh, doesn't want to come back. I'll be here in a meeting, and he doesn't want that. Because the next fight will be way worse. Because one, uh, I've had some five round fights now underneath my belt. And two, I know what I know what success I had against GSP, and I'm only making those things better. <laughs> so if, if he wants to come back, I'll gladly meet him. You know, 
I'll, I'll gladly meet him. And I hope that he does. But like I said, I hope that he doesn't. Because he's had such a career, a great career that nobody can take away. And that's why I, I want him to stay away so people can still remember the career that he had. And you see it all the time that sometimes they come back they're not as good as they used to be. And I want people to still remember GSP because he did a lot of great things for our sport and my weight loss, right? I got to give him that respect for that. Now, you can never take that away from me. And I would never want to. And that's one reason why I want him to stay away, enjoy retirement, and then go from there. Henry, how do you win the goals of the next Saturday? How do I win? Uh, any harder, he's going to hit me. <laughs> you know, plain and simple. I'm going back to the old ways. You know, I, I sort of forgot what got me here. You know, uh, sometimes you just group out. You know, hit them, hit them harder than they're going to hit you and see if they can take you. And that's sort of what I'm going to get back to. Just throw some, throw some leather and go from there. Uh, young uh, for kids, kids trying to come to this sport. Uh, you know, I was a wrestler, of course. So I'm gonna say wrestling is probably one of the biggest and greatest attributes you can have coming into this sport. Uh, the reason why is because let's say your stand up's not as good as your ground game. Well, you have the takedown ability to get them down. Um, also, if you have that wrestler background, if you look at my career, a lot of people feared that at the beginning, right? They feared my wrestling. And then all of a sudden, I started getting knockouts. And then I forgot about my wrestling. Alright? And then because everybody was scared of the knockout power, the wrestling was so there. It was easy to take, but I just never did. Um, now, my last couple of fights, I've been trying to become a more mixed martial artist blend the two because now I can use my wrestling to set up my hands or I can use my hands to set up my wrestling and once I get people guessing again that's whenever it's going to be easier to find a knockout or get them more tired so that way later on the rounds you can finish the fight. Uh, what's the new regulations in California? Uh, I think they're restricting weight cutting. Uh, uh, I checked it. Uh, Can't be dehydrated. Yeah, the IV bands, you know, I get it. You know, I wrestled in college, and that's why having Lewis here for nutrition. He's really helped me change. You know, I, I got to go back to the, my college buddies. You know, if I was wrestling 165, I, I didn't get any bigger than 175, right? But we have longer breaks here, so I'm, I'm, I'll be once 185, maybe 187. If I hit 187, I got to start crashing my weight back down to 185. Um, and whenever you're looking at all this, I think it, it's a benefit. You know, the last what two days, I've been hitting 72. Oh yeah. And I feel great. You know, I've been drinking back up to 77, and then the next morning I'll wake up to 72. You know, we're hot, we're, we're working out. I've done five rounds, the last until yesterday. Today I'm, I'm going to take a break, let my body recover today and tomorrow. But I, I feel awesome. This morning we, we went and cut weight. <clears throat> I don't even call it cutting weight. We're in there just pretty much hanging out. <laughs> and and uh, I just said, you know, I'm done. And I lost three and a half pounds this morning. I wasn't even trying to. You know, I was just hoping to lose two pounds and I could drink back two pounds. Um, so I, I think it's going to balance, it's going to make fighters be more disciplined. And that's what we have to be. And I, I finally learned that after my last weight cut, I need to be more disciplined. And now I am. Uh, do I see myself fighting at 185? Don't know because. You know, like I said, this week, we checked in at 176, and I thought it was going to be a hard weight cut, right? We made it pretty sneak and easy. You know, like I said, in the last two nights, I've been going back to 72, bringing back up to 77, just messing around. You know, we, we did a five and a half pound weight cut yesterday, and I just wanted to lose three. Um, so, as long as he's still here with me, and we don't put on too much muscle, 
think 70 is going to be my weight class. And like I said, I, I want to do a lot of things here. I still have a lot of, that I need to get done. And once I'm done with that, then we'll think about moving up. Sorry. My favorite fighter to watch in the UFC. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna be biased here. DC. I love DC. Oklahoma State Cowboy. Uh, and you know, I like watching Ruby Uh You know, I like watching Demetrius Johnson. You know, uh, I got a lot of favorite fighters. Uh, I'm not really big on just one. You know, because. Something about the, the way they move, like Demetrius Johnson, you know, he's always in and out. He's so fast. He just moves constantly. For 25 minutes, he never stops, right? Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I enjoy. So it, it, it's really not, it, it, it might be, I might like a fighter that I really don't know his name, and he's on the undercard. But just the way that he fought that fight, I was like, man, that's an awesome fight. And rewatch it and see what he's doing. And learn from what he his his what he had success with and what he didn't. Have. Does that make sense? Uh, first fight I ever watched uh, Muhammad the Wall or Keith Mo. We were rooming together and uh, when I was a uh, freshman, and he made me watch a pride fight. Uh, man, I mean that was 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Uh, and whenever I watched it, he was like, I can see you doing this one day. And I was like, huh, there's no way I'd do that. I'm not getting kicked in the head. You know, he's like, are you kidding me? There's no way. And here I am, you know, doing it. Like I said, I'm not a fighter. I'd much rather be the nice guy. I've always been the guy that always breaks up the fights. <clears throat> and here I am, the guy that not only gets in fights, but also sets a date for a fight. <laughs> That I'm like, hey, I know in three months I'm gonna fight you, and I have to fight you. You know? Uh, you know what got me into MMA was I went out and trained it, and I got knocked out. And I always thought I could protect my family, but I always wanted to have a family, and I always knew that if something bad happened, I wanted to protect them, right? So <clears throat> I got knocked out, and I got knocked out. I said, if somebody really knew what they were doing, I might not be able to protect them. So that's really what got me in the MMA. After I woke up from that knockout, I said, I want to do this. And that was the next morning. I got knocked out like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, the day before I lost that day. <laughs> I woke up at 8, I was like, what happened? <laughs> they said, we heard that, we heard that bird until I went to bed. You know, I just kept saying, what happened? Who knocked me out? <laughs> Funny story. Not really bad because I lost the day of my life. Anything? Yeah. We'll do some signatures now. Oh.